there's a high chance that this food on your plate is grown with the help of fertilizers. Now, fertilizer is not a bad word. Used sensibly within limits, they help feed our vast population. Fertilizers led to a massive jump in crop yields from a measly 710 kilograms per hectare in 1960 to 22,333 kilograms in 2018. But this massive jump in crop yields has come at a price. That has been the increased use of fertilizers, which shot up 9,275% from over 290,000 tons in 1960 to over 2,700,000 tons in 2019. Now, of all the fertilizers that Indian farmers love, they love urea the best and they use it lavishly. It's the top of the pops of fertilizers in India. Urea was 56% of the total fertilizer sold in India in 2018. In 2018, of all states, Uttar Pradesh used the maximum amount of urea, over 12 million metric tons, followed by Madhya Pradesh, which used half as much as Uttar Pradesh. So why is it such a favourite? Well, because it's cheap and the government subsidises it. Among large developing economies, Indian farmers pay the lowest price for it. So far, so good? No. There's a problem. Urea is rich in nitrogen, which is essential for crop yields. But along with nitrogen, crops need phosphorus and potassium. But since fertilizers rich in phosphorus and potassium were not subsidized, farmers did not use them as much in comparison to urea. This led to a nutrient imbalance in the soil. Ideally, the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium in the soil should be in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1. But due to excessive use of urea, which is rich in nitrogen, this ratio has been skewed. For example, in the state of Punjab, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are in the ratio of 31.4 is to 8 is to 1. This is choking the life out of our soil, depleting its fertility. And now we're facing a big challenge. Our crop yields are stagnating and in some cases even falling. Moreover, the excessive use of one type of fertilizer has led to a deficiency of micronutrients in the Indian soil. Now these micronutrients are sulphur, zinc and boron. So the food that's grown from soil which lacks these micronutrients is also less nourishing. And this is causing growth impairment in humans and animals. Excessive use of nitrogenous fertilizers is also worsening India's water quality. So then, what's the solution? The solution is quite simply increased soil testing to identify suitable fertilizers for a particular type of a soil. Subsidize environment-friendly fertilizers like biofertilizers, organic farm manure or liquid fertilizer promote zero-budget natural farming, which is simply chemical-free natural farming system.